us to them. Who oh, say does that star spangled part of starting the Best Buddies chapter at University of South Florida in 1991 and it's incredible to see how much growth and how many people now know about Best Buddies in this market. When I was a college student it was brand new and today to see thousands of students and to see how many people this mission has impacted in the Tampa community is just incredible. It is just so exciting to see the growth that has taken place in Tampa. And it really has been almost an inclusion explosion. To see where we were five years ago, we had this event. We had 50 people at the event. And this year, we have almost 1,000 people registered. So it's incredible to see the impact and to see an entire community coming together. If you're already having an incredible time, let me hear you make some noise. Our main goal here in Tampa is to bring here, Best Buddies jobs to Tampa, to have that integrated employment for individuals with disabilities here, so they can earn a paycheck just like you and I and work alongside and others in our community. Welcome. The other goal is to get Best Buddies citizens and that's the adult component of the one-to-one -one friendships for our adult population with disabilities. Same concept, adult with a disability, adult without. We match them and they become best buddies. Go best buddies! Well, the future of best buddies is really putting ourselves out of business. I mean, we want to create a world where everybody's included, everyone can get jobs and feel like they're a part of society and that we don't even need to have programs like Best Buddies exist. But until that day, we are focused 100% on engaging people with intellectual disabilities and touting their abilities, that they can be in great jobs, that they can be the most amazing friends, and that they are incredible leaders. Oh my goodness, we have Raymond here today! That's right, make some noise for Raymond. He's awesome, we got some free stuff from our race, Tampa Bay race. If you're excited, let me hear you make some noise! I feel like we've outgrown this park and we're gonna need a bigger venue. So we'd love to really, you know, call out to our community partners, our sponsors, help us, you know, bring this to the next level. We've gone from Al Lopez Park to this park, and hopefully we'll have, you know, 5,000 people in the Tampa community all working and walking in support of our mission of friendship, leadership development, and integrated employment for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Get involved. It really is so impactful when everyone comes together. And you will be so rewarded if you just get involved. I'm incredibly proud of the staff, the volunteers, the state leadership, the national leadership. It truly is a mission of its own word. They believe in inclusion and support and friendship all the way around. And without that, this today wouldn't have been as successful as it was and it couldn't have been possible. I had some amazing volunteer committee members that helped with every aspect of this event from the VIP tent to the kids zone and entertainment to the community teams, the school teams. We just had so much help and so much participation and the community sponsors was incredible. I mean, a huge shout out to all of our community sponsors that that believe in the mission of friendship and the power of this walk 
to bring the community together as one. And congratulations to everyone that had a part in this event, that played any role because it does truly take a village and Tampa came together for Best Buddies and we were so successful. So congratulations to everybody.